So what I did was I taught ChatGPT how to write the kind of blurb that I like, and then I give it a synopsis and I tell it to give me some versions of that same, of that blurb uh, in the same format that I give it, that I teach it. I need for you to write a blurb for a book I've written. I'm going to give you a blurb structure, and I would like for you to identify all the elements of the blurb for me first before we get to writing a new blurb. Here is the blurb for you to dissect and analyze. Simple, right? And then I've given it a blurb. Okay, so we start out with like a headline of like a hook headline. Um, then there's three paragraphs here, and then we're coming to the conclusion. As lethal foes close in, Skylar is confronted with her deepest, for with her darkest memories, while striving to shield all she holds dear. Can she outwit her relentless pursuers and obtain the crucial proof, or will she lose everything again in a high stake game of cat and mouse? Uh, and then a final paragraph, which is sort of the selling paragraph. Uh, a surprise favor is a thrilling third entry in the Amagi science fiction romance series. Fans of heart pounding adventures, intricate relationships, and nail biting and in action won't want to miss SJ Pajonis' captivating narrative. Okay, so now it is going to look at it and analyze it. Uh, I love this because it tells you what each part is, right? So it's setting the introduction main character introduction, secondary characters introduction, conflict introduction, plot development, climax teaser, because we don't want to give the whole story away. This is the thing most people don't realize of blurbs, is you're basically teasing the story and generally the first act, up to the first act turn, and maybe a little hint about what happens in the rest of the story. But you're never giving away the whole story because why would we do that? We want people to buy the book and read it and get the whole story. Resolution teaser. So this is usually those couple of uh, questions at the end of the blurb. Book information, author introduction and appeal to the target audience. Okay, this is my selling paragraph at the end. This is good to know that for you, if you're not really into that selling paragraph at the end, you can always just take it off, right? So this is the structure that I generally give it. Now. The nice part about this, this prompt here is you can use it with any blurb that you find compelling, all right? It doesn't have to be my blurb. This is going to be a blurb that you personally have read and you found really compelling. It has hooked you. You totally want to hit that buy now button, right? Now you can get the AI to analyze it and tell you what parts of it are what you're going to use for your own blurb. Okay, so now that it has analyzed it, I usually give it a little praise. Thank you. That's perfect. I'm going to give you a book summary and a rough draft of a book blurb. So this is what I do sometimes. Sometimes I write out my own blurb first drafts and I'm usually pretty terrible at it. You don't have to do that either. I would like for you to produce two drafts of a book blurb using the main elements you identified for me above. So now your job is to make a summary of your book so that you can do this exercise. Now, this is sometimes the hard part for most people, right? You've written 100,000 words in a novel, and how are you going to distill that down, right? This is like a big thing for people, like can't get it down, but you can use AI to do that, all right? My tip for this is to open up a chat GPT-4 window, generally four, okay? So you have a nice big context window and you give it a chapter at a time of your book and have it summarize it. Um, and then once you get all of the summaries of all the chapters, you get it to summarize that even further so that it comes down to only like a few paragraphs. And then from there, you can use that here. So my prompt um, was that I was going to give it a summary, right? Uh, so this is the summary of a book that I wrote. If you write sexy or violent stuff, you're going to want to redact everything that's in there. And this book does have a few sex scenes. It's a sci-fi romance. So what I did was I went in and I 
deleted all of the sexy content and I put in brackets, they have an intimate moment and just left it like that, right? So the AI knows that there was some sort of resolution of the sexual tension there, but it doesn't have to know any of the details. Like, let's not have chat GPT pearl clutch for us. We wanted to do the work, right? So just redact anything that you think it's going to trip up on, okay? I made this summary and I also wrote a draft of my blurb. It was pretty horrible, but it gave it something else to go on. And once it had that, it's ge- it's given me two drafts. And I usually like to ask for two, which I, I mean, I liked both of them. I said it was a great start. Two things to note, the book's title is Tilly's Second Chance. And I would like for you to concentrate on the main character, Tilly, and her road to redemption, the secondary character, Kaito, and his role in Tilly's redemption. Be sure to mention Tilly's cat because she the cat was an important part of the story, Ivan, and the romance should be the central part of the blur. Please write two more drafts, including these points. So this is why you use version four when you're doing these blurbs, because you want it to have a nice long context window and you can just ask it for things, ask it for your rewrites if it goes astray. Um, so when I asked it to make some revisions it gave me two more drafts right and i was much happier with these and then i asked it to make even more edits to write three drafts of a paragraph for the blurb that starts with kaito's side of the situation like for example kaito can't believe it's luck he's finally got the chance to work with tilly kimura again because i wanted to make sure this is this is a romance that i showed both the hero and the heroine side And I got it to write some more drafts for me. And then I pulled it all together, me, on the back end until I came up with a final book blurb that I liked, which was here. I gave it to ChatGPT again. And then I wanted to come back and ask for things, five catchy log lines, 10 pieces of Facebook ad copy, no hashtags, two five to six sentence summaries of the book, because I figure I can use those in certain places. I could use them on social media. I could possibly use them um, if I'm going to buy like a free booksy ad, like use it to, if I want to try to get a book bub ad, I can use that in the comments section on the forum. Uh, There's a lot of different ways you can use real quick summaries of books. And so I always ask for that too. And it gives me five catchy log lines. Will Tilly reclaim her dreams and embrace newfound love or will her second chance slip away? Uh, Can Tilly prove her innocence and seize her second chance at love and career success? Okay, these are good. Then it gave me some 10 pieces of Facebook ad copy. I can use these if I'm I'm making ads on Facebook. I could also use it if I'm just, you know, posting about my book to my readers. And then the two five to six sentence summaries are right here. Um, I actually went from this and went over to Claude instead and asked him to write me some log lines that were emotional, that tugged at people's emotions. Um, And he gave me some great ones too. I definitely recommend going back and forth between the two of them because Claude is sometimes better at emotions um, than ChatGPT is, but ChatGPT is great at writing that blurb. So I definitely recommend that you do your initial blurb in ChatGPT, and then you move on from there. If you want to do log lines, um, you want to do catchy Facebook copy, maybe trying both ChatGPT and Claude. This is the direct result and work out of our lab sessions with Future Fiction Academy. If you'd like to sign up, the link is in the description. Eight times a week, we are getting together with the top authors using AI, and we are solving all of the problems for our members. So any questions they have about editing prompts or writing new material with AI, and how what does that look like for the human to write with AI? So I hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more. Good luck with your writing projects.